Stay away from shirk, brothers and sisters. The best advice that one can give to you is stay away from shirk. Shirk is the greater sin in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When a person is into shirk and dies without repenting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive him. Listen to the advice that Luqman gave to his son in the Quran. He said to him, Ya Bunaya, O oh my son, la to shirk billah, do not worship anything besides Allah in Nashurka Lazulmon Azim, for indeed associating partners with him is the greatest wrong ever. People have stayed away from worshipping idols but are still committing shirk. Shirk has now been modified into rings, bangles, necklaces, amulets, human and animal parts, colonels, red and black shirts, and many more. All these are as a result of visiting the soothsayers. These are shaitan's handiwork. Even when a person says, I swear by my father's grave, Nare said the Kabarim Babana, you have committed shirk because we do not swear anything other than Allah if only you are speaking the truth we only swear by Allah on Yom al Qiyamah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to us, Ya Bani Adam, O children of Adam, Allah ta'abudu shaitan, did I not warn you not to worship shaitan? Did I not warn you not to work with the jeans? Did I not warn you not to visit the soothsayers? Innahu lakum adubu mubin. For shaitan is indeed your clear enemy. For shaitan is indeed your open enemy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from shaitan and his family. May Allah keep cursing him. Amen. We understand that sometimes our iman is so weak that we cannot increase our good deeds. But that's fine. Let's not go to the extent of committing shirk because any other sin can be forgiven by Allah if he wills with the exception of shirk. In Surah Nisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Inna Allah la yakfiru an yushraka bih wa yakfiru ma'adu Indeed, Allah does not forgive associating partners with him, but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. And he who associates partners with Allah has indeed committed a great sin. Na'uzubillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. My dear brothers and sisters, if you need true guidance and protection, read the daily askars morning and evening. And before you leave your homes, you say Bismillah, tawakkel to Allah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. And when you return to your homes, you say Bismillah. And when you return to your homes, you say Bismillah walajina, wa Bismillah harajina, wa ala rabbana tawakelna. This will inshallah protect you and your family. And when you're facing problems, wake up at night, pray to Allah, tell him all your problems, and commit everything in his hands. For only upon Allah do the believers rely. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, guide us, and forgive us. Amin ya rabbal alam. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك